Hello, welcome back to BS Live. In this episode, I want to talk about um, Freud Studio once again. Um, it's an updated version, and this time it actually works with Blender 2.8 if you want to import it. Basically, an app that allows you to create a CG character, male or female models, um, kind of like with anime shaders and, and uh, with anime hair as well. You can download it for Windows or Mac OS. And you can make this kind of character. This this one actually comes with presets. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, you download the app. Uh, it's I think. Um, so I have it here for Mac OS. And I can actually start with a by creating new avatar, male or female. Okay, female one. Um, they all come with a uh, the typical Japanese high school dress. And I'm currently I don't I don't have my mouse, but I'm I'm using uh, the Mac touchpad. Um, so using two finger up and down, it's for zooming in. Shift and click drag to pan, and then there's also two finger tap, and then you can rotate it. Yeah, don't rotate it too low. But anyway, uh, you can customize uh, the character like the eyes um, the, the hair is actually kind of interesting as well the eyes actually really really important with anime characters there's a lot of parameters that you can play with make it a little bit angrier it also comes with a presets um, blend shapes and everything so it's actually a really really powerful app so I'll let you play around with this yourself, but there's a lot of uh, uh, customizations that you can do. Um, I'm just gonna show you the whole process of uh, importing it into Blender and maybe at some point exporting it as, as an AR, um, AR USDZ. Okay, so yeah, this is like the generic character, female character from Freud Studio. In order to export it, you just go to export over here, and you can export it with a with a personality, but you can just export it as it is. Export. Now oh, there's an option to export the hair to OBJ, but don't worry about that. We're just gonna save it as um, a character. Maybe call it Alice. Auto sushi contact information. Don't worry. It's interesting with a VR um, VR thing in Japan. It's actually really big. I think a lot of uh, Hololens or other type of VR environments already using this. So I'm saving it as VRM um, model. In the past. You can, in order to bring it into Blender, you you change the VRM into um, GLB type format, and then you can import it into Blender. But in this case, we're gonna keep it as VRM. Okay, so in order to bring it into Blender, there's um, already an add-on. This one does it really really well. Cats add-on by Michael De Groot. And this add-on actually will connect you to a lot of things like MMD for um, character pose and dance. And also, it will tell you if you need to import the VRM, you need to download this VRM imported for Blender 2.8. So this one is also really, really good. So, but for you, you just need to um, download this as zip and then install it in inside Blender and you will see if I open Blender 2.8 now, and you can see the whole interface. So I used this a bit last night, and let's see if uh, it is working. Did everything. <clears throat> I already installed the add-on, so I have this cats tab. It's got a lot of things. Edit preferences, cats. So this is the add-on.
and all you need to do is to import the model so this will use the other add-on for importing the, the model so let's get our character 15 megabyte um, I tested uh, I tested last night and it brings all the shader and it works really really well inside blender on top of that all the bones seems to be to be there for you for animations so file save as save it in the folder so you keep everything nice and tidy so at least you know if you want a timeline so you can start animating this character maybe uh, turn this shader it's a pretty advanced importer and seems like the whole setup um, it's a lot of people working on droid character um, and I believe as a VR this is already quite like a really good like a character ready for VR and AR I haven't tested out as VR yet oh it's actually kind of slow now that I'm recording it well while doing this well that's uh, not very good but uh, let's go back to this view and if you are new to blender of course you select the skeleton and then go to post mode and start to animate the character you can start keyframing um, by hitting i not gonna do that but as you can see there's a all, whole lot of controls already this character is really animation ready the blend shapes also come with it mm. so there's a face that's separated the face has expression expression and all that I wonder why it's slow this is blender 2.8 officials so on a Mac it seems to be quite slow maybe I need to upgrade my Mac um, to latest oh this is still better interesting okay so let's go back if we actually export this as it is uh, the shader is not gonna work 100% need to turn off the notification if I export it as GLTF for USDZ it's not actually not uh, not gonna work let me try if I can export it as GLB and wonder if USDZ converter is supporting GLB now I'll export GLTF I have a feeling that I need I just need to extract the the texture and then it should work with the USDZ so Let's try this USDZ converter from Apple. USDZ convert. So we have okay, we have all the texture extracted. I wonder if it works with GLB. Okay, GLB seems to work now. That's actually interesting. It didn't work before. Um, okay, now the texture still doesn't work. But that's unfortunate um, but I have a bit of trick that I can do let's try go into shader editor and look at the shader okay this is this is like a NPR shader for this character you can see in, like if you're just rendering it out in blender it's already looking really really good um, I want this exact look as my VR um, or AR and I have a feeling that I can go inside have a look so we might need so this is an emission so I have a feeling because this is emission we can just use 
principles PSDF and plug this into emission. Well, it's, so, it's super slow. Uh, shader, so use the RGB shader to RGB, convert the shader back into color, and plug this into emission and maybe base color. And the alpha goes into the alpha as well. So, so I'm working on what is this? The face, mouth, and okay. Let me try a different, different shader. Like for the the body. Body. There's a cloth top, cloth bottom. Let me do that again. So we need a principles. PSDF. You know, we just plug it in, it's gonna give an error. Shadow to RGB and color. Oops, that's really slow. Color to emissions and alpha to alpha. File save. File export GLTF. Let's do this again. Hopefully, the texture is translating. There's still a bit of manual work. Um, and currently, I haven't tested the MMD um, library yet. So there's a lot of MMD files out there that uh, it's kind of for dancing, to make this character dance. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's really powerful, actually. You, al you already have a lot of assets out there. So you can make your own character, apply dance moves, and then use it in VR or AR. So there's a, there's a lot of things already going on. So this is the older one. Let me try converting it once again. So let's see. So this time the character have a texture, which is good. There's a it might not work 100%, but it's, this is better than before, right? I, can, I, I need to do that for all of the shader. I think it should be less than 100 shaders, but basically assigning this into shader, convert it into RGB from this shader into principles. So the GLTF and USTZ convert will understand. Oh, by the way, this uh, the skirt is actually one-sided. You probably want to turn this into double-sided in order to convert correctly. Uh, maybe just add some kind of thickness or use modifier, solidify modifier in order to do that. Um, if you want to see the skirt. But anyway, um, that's pretty much the whole process. I will need to test with MMD and then test it with a dance move animations and maybe assign a, a music as well but the whole performance can be ex should be able in theory you should be able to export it as usdz for apple ar that will work on iphone or ipad so it's it's really cool actually that um, that you are already able to do this what's missing probably some kind of dynamics like for the skirt and maybe for the chest or the hair, uh, the hair is really important. Without that kind of dynamics, is it feels a, a little bit something is a little bit missing. But people already use uh, Vroid for real time character performance in YouTube, VR, a lot of things. And so I'm probably a little bit behind and still new with still new with uh, this kind of uh, this kind of thing. So, but I, I'm I'll, I'm gonna give it a try. Just gonna export it as AR because that's what most people can already experience. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It's uh, from Freud Studio. Okay, uh, we export it, import it into Blender, and export it as Apple USDZ. Kind of still work in progress. Just one thing missing is actually the blend shapes. So the blend shape itself. Like I said, it's already here. You can animate it, but it's not gonna work as Apple AR. So, so that's one thing you need to 
to know. It's kind of a limitation. Maybe next year you can do this. But anyway, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.